Good morning, guys. So I just made breakfast for Jordan. He had some oatmeal and muesli bread and some coffee this morning. I didn't eat because, well, it's Saturday and uh, um, I haven't gone to the gym yet, even though it is kind of late. It is 11 o'clock right now, so we got our day started a bit late, but that's okay, it's a weekend. That's what it's for. Uh, so I'm gonna get changed, go to the gym real quick. Today we are going to see Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which we have never seen before. Jordan surprised me with the tickets, so I'm super, excited i've always wanted to see them and then we have dinner plan so i figured i would vlog today i'm just going to go to the gym come back get ready and then go to the trans Siberian orchestra maybe get a little bit of work done um, if i have some extra time but i don't want to overload today i was originally planning on making a trip out to a craft store and getting like some supplies for a diy video i want to do but <laughs> That isn't realistic, so I don't think I'm gonna do that today. It's gonna be a fun day, and uh, I wanna take you guys on this journey with me. Hey guys, just got back from the gym. I was pretty happy with it. I think I kind of got in trouble at the end though because we have a shared gym here in our building and I was kind of hoarding the medicine ball and the 12 and a half pound weights. So when I was done with my workout, which is probably around like 45 minutes, I brought the weights out there and then some lady was walking around the gym like, where in the world is that? Blue medicine ball. There's this room, it's a massage room that you can use pretty much if it's not uh, reserved for stretching or whatever you want. So I normally go in that room and she literally barged into the room to look for this ball. So I'm like, oh, okay, well here's the ball. Sorry. It just kind of sucks because, you know, that's just part of having a shared gym. Anyway, I need to get ready for the trans Siberian Orchestra. It is 12.30 right now. We need to leave around 2.30ish to make the concert, which is at 3. Alright, see you guys in a bit. We just got done with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra show and we are trying to get out of the parking lot. You can see there is quite a line to get out of this parking garage. Um, we're going to eat at Little Sichuan, which is like this hot pot kind of place. And it's only four minutes away, but it's taking us forever to get out of this parking garage. The show was really good. It was a little bit cheesy at the beginning because it's like this Christmas theme story. So there's nothing wrong with that, but it was really cheesy. The second part after the story ended was actually really good. They had a lot of like pyrotechnics. What is it called? Pyrotechnics? Mm -hmm. Um, which is kind of really cool to see in a show. So the ending was really cool. They lit off a bunch of fireworks, which I've never seen like within a building before. Um, the music was great. I literally have been waiting like 10 years to see this. I was really, really fortunate that Jordan surprised me with these tickets. The weather is like pretty nasty. It snowed while we were in there. And so there's probably like a dusting of snow outside. It's a little bit slippery. Um, I'm so hungry, I cannot wait to get some hot pot. We'll update you when we get to the restaurant. <laughs> Hey guys, just got home. Um, I am so full and it is 
a winter wonderland out there. So much snow. The roads weren't too bad on our way home though. Had a little bit of a dance party when we got home. Couldn't really uh, dance too much though because I was so full. Yeah, overall had a fantastic day. trans Siberian Orchestra was wonderful. The food was wonderful. We ended up driving and parking in the parking garage, which was literally like only a block away. <laughs> from the um, arena where the concert was at and it was miserable to just walk that one block because it was so cold. I'm rethinking Minnesota and this winter weather, um, ready for some warm weather and a lot of sunshine because that's definitely more us. I think I'm gonna try to eat this one dessert that my friend Emily got us. It is this new like trendy dessert that they have. Um, it's almost like a cake that's pretty much um, crepes stacked on top of each other with like a little bit of frosting in between each layer. This one is the green tea and red bean. She also got me a durian flavor one and if you guys aren't familiar with durian, that is pretty much what um, most people know as the stinky fruit from Asia. It is this like... It's pretty big spiky fruit and on the inside is like this uh, flesh. Uh, the flesh is like this very like pungent smell to it. It's one of those things where if you grew up eating it and you have an acquired taste to it, it tastes delicious and it's like amazing but you're not used to it. Most people think it smells. So yeah, and this is what that cake looks like. I took a couple bites yesterday. I actually like this one better than the green tea one. I think it has really good flavor. I grew up eating durian though, so um, I'm used to the flavor and I actually love it. Andrew Zimmern, who is known for eating bizarre foods, cannot stand the taste of durian, but I think Anthony Bourdain can. Anyway, I'm going to start rambling. We're gonna get ready for bed and probably just call it a night, watch some television, have some dessert, and let's go to bed. Thank you again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a good night. Good morning. Sorry about the mess. Just woke up and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like outside right now. It snowed all night. Here's what downtown Minneapolis looks like.